Hello, good morning everyone. And this morning, we're going to tackle all about Lesson 11, the factors to be considered in a responsible parenthood. But before that, I would like to introduce first my name. I am Jalma Aendereko from BDL and 2 Home Economics. What is parenthood? It's the ability of a parent to detect the need, happiness, and desire of the children and helping them to become responsible and reasonable children. So it is the duties of the parents enable for their, their children to become responsible in the future. So now let's proceed to the preparing for responsible parenthood must take into consideration in a several factors as follows. First, parental rule. Parents must not only provide physical and material need, but love. So the parents are obligated or they are responsible in or for their children to provide love, an unconditional love. Second, family relationship. So we must have harmonious relationship for our families and relatives and also to our children because like for example, one, one part of the family has a problem so we can easily talk to and fix to that certain problem. Third, knowledge of rearing. Third, knowledge of rearing. One has a better chance of rearing healthy, happy, intelligent children if parents are educated and reared for a duties expected of parenthood. So the parents, so if the parents are educated, they have a uh, knowledgeable enough to raise their children well. Four, emotional adjustment. The parents should be emotionally prepared and committed to change their life. So as a parent, you should be, be patient. The qualities of responsible parenthood. First, marriage should be done at the right age so that they can start a new life and family in the right time. Second, the size of the family. It should be decided by both parents together excess by family planning. So the size of the families matter the most so that the parents will decide if they can afford such the needs and wants of their children according to their financial status. Third, being responsible parents. That is physically and mentally mature. So being a parent is not an easy. You know, you have to decide in many times if you are physically and mentally prepared. Now, let's proceed to the 10 principles of responsible parenting. First, what you do matters. It is the most important principles because children learn from what they see and observe to their parents. Second, you cannot be too loving. We know that every parent love their child so much, but the love should never spoil. Sixth, foster your child's independence. The responsible parents need to teach their children self-control and encourage independence so that in the future, the children will know how to stand in their own feet. And if ever there's a child um, come to their life, they know how to pass or fix it because they already trained by their parents. Seven, be consistent. Consistency is the key to discipline. Rules for children should not change day to day because it makes them confused and maybe if you if the parents might change it day by day the children will not listen or the children will not believe eight avoid harsh discipline parents should not hit child it may cause negative impact so that's all for this video thank you for watching and listening